Hello Laravel friends, this week Laravel 9.25 was released. It's a smaller release compared to the last ones, but still there are a few things that I would like to show you. Let's go! First, a when not exactly stringable method was added to the framework. We have here a string level 9.25 and we already got a string helper method called when exactly. So when the given string level 9.25 matches the same string again, we return the result of a callback that we pass here. And we just return a string in the callback which is saying that's right. So when we run it here in the Tinkerwell app, you can see that it works and we see the correct string. In level 9.25, there is now a new when not exactly method, which just does the opposite. So let's change the text that we compare to 24. And now let's try this again. And you can see this now also works. And we see that the strings are now not the same. But what you can also do here is now pass another callback. But first, let's change the text again so that we have the same level 9.25 text, which we're comparing. And then we're going to add another callback, which gets now triggered if the first callback is not triggered. So now we are saying this is right here or that that's right. And if you run the code again, you can see that we get now this string. So this means now the second callback is triggered, which again works now as the new default text if the first callback is not being triggered. I'm a big fan myself of all the string helper methods in level, so I'm also glad there is another good one. Thank you, Andrew. Next and also already last, a new method to mass update timestamps was added to the framework. This is interesting, let me show you. In this example, we are showing all the users of the app and currently we just got one user in the database. Let's just show this first one and you can see that the updated ad field is set with a specific date and time and it does not change if I refresh this user. And what we already had in level is a touch method on a model, which updates the updated ad field with the current time. When I show the first user again, you can see that the updated ad field is now changing every time because we call the touch method before. This was already super handy in level. Now in level 9.25, there is a new touch method that you can use to update all the models. We still got only one user in a database, but we're now showing all the models. And as you can see, it's changing now every time as we refresh again. And this again is because we are now using the touch method for all our models. Additionally, you can specify a specific column so it doesn't have to be the updated ad field. So it could be a custom one too. Thank you, Steve, for this new method. And that already sums up the level 9.25 release from this week. Thank you again to the level team and all the contributors. You're doing a great job and we are going to see us next week again here. Thank you so much. Bye.